I took this in a bar the night uh, after she died. I just was walking at the bar and I saw this on the table and I took the picture. This image of Elizabeth Taylor is so from another era. And I thought it was a really nice memento of her as well. Your life's going on, people are still having drinks. And I love it, it says, lustrous pinnacle of Hollywood glamour. You just never hear that phrase. My only meeting with her, actually, was at Carrie Fisher's birthday party, and then Elizabeth Taylor arrived. And, and Carrie said, get in there. Get in there and flank that legend. That's what she said. She'd recently fallen, and she banged her bottom of her back and everything on, on the floor. And I said to her, oh, was, was there much pain? And she went, you have never seen such a black ass. Like that. <laughs> and I went, I bet I have, Elizabeth. <laughs> I've had the rare opportunity to meet many amazing photographers who move through the different landscapes to create powerful images. I'm always inspired by how these images transform the way we see people and understand the world. A great photograph needs no explanation, but on capture, these incredible people tell the story of creating their most memorable images. I'm Mark Seliger, and this is Capture. Hi, I'm Mark Seliger. Welcome to Capture. I'm here with the award-winning Alan Cumming. Hello, Mark. How are you, Alan? And the amazing fashion photographer, portrait photographer, Sebastian Kim. Hello. Thank you guys for coming today. Alan, you are a photographer who I'm just starting to get familiar with your work. I am excited to, to talk about your work because it goes from found objects and portraiture and, you know, stories about your life. And it just seems like there's like a, a, a nice broad sense of you documenting who you are. For me, I do various different things and photography is a relatively new strand. But I think it's all the same thing. You're telling a story in each, uh, with each picture. So that's why I, 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 I write stories about the, each photograph because sometimes the story, my story about it, is very different to what the image is. So I think it's quite, it's only right that the, whoever has the, sees the picture should get the full Monty. Sebastian, I have watched your fashion work, which is amazing, but the, thing I'm most blown away by are your portraits. It's strange because I, I didn't think that I was going to go into portraiture. That there was this interest of mine to do fashion. Why I didn't want to go into portrait was also photographing these celebrities, which I felt was, Ew. was uh, you know, very hard for me to come in, <laughs> connect, and, and there was this sense of, <laughs> of, I was very intimidated, you know? It's like, it's, it's, it, it is wasn't. very intimidating. So I started doing these portrait commissions, and it gave me a chance to meet some of these people that I admire, you know, some of the musicians, actors, directors. When I got the commission to photograph Woody Allen, I was, I was very excited. But because I'm such a big fan, I was extremely nervous. He doesn't uh, give sittings very often. He just came on his own, didn't want any fuss, no hair, no makeup, and he just said, okay, how you want me? I think he only gave me about six, seven minutes, that's it. I remember maybe one or two frames that I felt a spark. And I was so proud of this image because, you know, it's Woody and I mean, you know, love all his films. And um, it wasn't until much later on that I heard that Woody did not like the picture. And he, he did not want the picture ever to be published again. And that just killed me. I feel like I'm a magpie. I'm just drawn to things that are sparkly to me. And they're not, they don't necessarily always, they can be quite sad sometimes. The teapot one was actually at a, at a sort of a wake. 
in a friend's, someone had died, and we all went to this friend's house, and it was just on our shelf. There's a teapot, there's a, there's a champagne glass with a fly inside it, which I didn't see till later, and a little, a half a smoke joint. And I just thought that was so much about what that time was. It was people getting stoned and drinking, and then all gathered and having cups of tea to kind of, and just chatting, chatting, and kind of self-medicating for this death. And so that's what I, mm. that's what that means to me, that picture. Mostly, I think, oh, that looks nice, I'll just go to it. It was when I took on the plane a few weeks ago, I was flying somewhere, and you know on the inside of the, when you have your little shutter that you lift up, like on the plane, and then there's a window, and there's like a, a vacuum bit, and there's another window. There was a little dead fly inside the vacuum bit. And I took this picture of it, and I thought, how awful, that fly's going to be there forever, and how did it get in there? <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> I just felt so sad for that little fly. You weren't stoned, though, right? I was completely sober. Music was something that I connected with. Once your heart is in it, I feel you, you, you tend to work harder at it. With musicians, there's just this excitement that I get. You know, the best photographs are the ones that you really connect to. This is a South African band called Die Ant Word. Die Ant Word? Yeah, it means the answer. Oh, I see. My assistant sent me a video of theirs and said, my God, Sebastian, you gotta check out this video. And I watched this video. I was so blown away and I, and I said, I really wanna photograph this band. They hadn't really blown up in the States. And sure enough, you know, a couple months later, they came to the States and um, got to photograph them. And at the time, they're just the strangest thing that I've ever seen. Hi, I'm Mark Seliger, and we're here on Capture with Alan Cumming and with Sebastian Kim. Click the subscriber button below if you don't want to miss the new episode of The Next Shows. It's right here. It's only on reserve and only on YouTube. Click now. Do click, it. Click. 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 Or else.